Hi there Virgo, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. This is going to be your weekly intuitive tarot reading for June 29 through to July the 5th. July already guys, I really can't believe that. What a crazy year we've had so far. We're on the downhill slide now. Let's hope it just continues to get better and go onwards and upwards. Now guys, um, I'm going to shuffle these out and just pull your overarching theme or message from this oracle deck and the other one down there. If you don't want to stay on for the card pull guys, please do use the timestamp that I'll leave in the video description below. However, once we move on to the tarot cards, the message does start coming through and we piece that together so that can be quite insightful as well. I don't choose the cards guys, I allow them to flip or fall, it can take a little while. Obviously if it goes on for too long, <laughs> which I have had it go on for a couple of minutes with one particular deck before, then I will choose the card. But like that, they usually come out. Buddha, beautiful. Some of you might be having that realization this week that actually, you know what, all the wisdom that you seek is within you. You know, you are your own magician, your own Buddha. And um, the wisdom that you seek is within you, you know? We are a reflection of the universe within ourselves. We have the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. I actually particularly really like that card. It's kind of like following the light, maybe coming out of a harder time. And um, yeah, being asked to kind of take that leap across the threshold, even though you might not know what's on the other side, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a full energy to that card. Let's see what else comes out, Virgo. I'm going to start with pulling your card for the recent past position. What you might be journeying right now, uh, energies leaving, completing, or transitioning from your life. Too many. They come out in big stacks like that, Virgo. I do tend to put them back into the deck. Um, we're looking for those direct one or two fall card fall or flips. Otherwise, it's really just the energy of the cards. It's funny how sometimes the cards are just going all over the place and they're dropping and other times I can shuffle several decks for ages and they don't they don't come out so hopefully something will come out soon see it's a bit of a my fumbling really that one recent past for Virgo please recent past for Virgo recent past Virgo Pass for Virgo. What is this initiation? What is the threshold that Virgo is crossing? I was so confident the cards were going to come out quickly, Virgo. Look where I am now. There it goes, Virgo. <laughs> I can be a little bit stubborn. We have the King of Swords here. Uh, okay, tower currently at the bottom of the deck. There could be a truth revealed. There could be a communication that's very pivotal. Um, there could be a personal transform transformation that is occurring for you. Let's get your current or focus energy out. For Virgo, please. Do you know what? I saw that flip. Ah. That wasn't actually the one I saw flip, it was the Fool, but I'm gonna take the Hermit as well because that is your card, Virgo. I'm really seeing a strong new beginning energy here for you. Um, as I said before, that initiation really has the essence of the Fool and there it goes. Uh, also had the Sun flip over there, but that wasn't one of our selection. I feel like it's about heading in a positive direction, following the light. Let's get your outcome energy out, Virgo. Come energy for Virgo, please. Near future. Wow. Oh, I like this Virgo. Nine of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. You know what? Whatever is through this kind of cave, this window of opportunity here, I think it's leading you to a greater sense of fulfillment and you're planting new seeds. It's fulfillment that potentially is not going to manifest overnight, but this is about, you know, taking the right steps. To make that happen so let's get the clarifiers king of swords ace of wands beautiful yeah there's definitely like a passionate new beginning here that's coming in for you clarify the fool and the hermit you are coming out of the cave from that hermit 
Wow, universe, that's the world energy. Completing a really big cycle here, Virgo, coming out of the cave to a fresh new start, new chapter that's leading you towards wish fulfillment. Let's clarify that. Yeah, there's gonna be a bit of um a little bit of work to put in. I'm seeing here. Do I need anything else? No, I think I think that's good. Okay, Virgo, let's read the cards here, starting with the Buddha Oracle card from the beautiful Yogic Path deck. The most amazing illustrations on these cards. Now, I'm looking in the book for this one just to get a bit more information. The Buddha is the one who's aware. Um, and it says that, you know, it's the one that is aware and um, the fact that you've, ro you've woken up to your true self and are letting go of illusions that are binding, binding you to the material world. Now we've got your card, Virgo the Hermit, in this reading. Some of you might have been going through um, some soul seeking or even a spiritual awakening, but really waking up to the fact of you know that non-dual reality, that unity consciousness, the fact that you have the wisdom, you have the answers that you seek within. So I'm definitely seeing um, a like an, a sort of a, a jump there, a bit of a quantum leap in that particular area. And it says that you hold the knowledge of all that you you know that you are seeking. Buddha nature, it just takes rem remembering. Um, so that's a really beautiful message there, Virgo. And we have the initiation, one of my personal favorites. It's about a rite of passage, crossing the threshold. And for me, this is a lot about walking out of that cave, you're coming out of that hermit mode, you're coming out of your shell, you're following the light, you are walking forward, walking a new path, um, and you know, this is the beginning of the journey of the fall, but you're going to be asked to cross cross the threshold, to take a leap of faith, to walk through and see what's on the other side. Even though you can't really see fully what's beyond there, what you can see is that you know it is um, it is it is light, it is bright, it is um, illuminated, it is clearly um, you know a positive kind of sun filled reality here. So there's going to have to be a little bit of trust, a little bit of faith for you to cross that threshold. But I feel for some of you, you are leaving a time of you know, say darkness, it can just be a time of maybe, um, you know, not feeling lit up, not feeling liberated, having that darkness internally, which means there could have been a time where you didn't have the answers that you were seeking to move forward to your sense of fulfillment. It doesn't necessarily mean to say you've just gone through, you know, really big upheaval. I feel like for more of you, you are ending a time of your own in a darkness, I don't want to say, what if I say the word ignorance, I don't mean that you're ignorant at all, I mean that, that time of maybe not having that illumination, not having that insight guys, that's what I mean by that and I feel that you're starting to have those answers revealed to you. So what, what I mean by that guys, um, you know, when I have to say the word ignorance is I mean at a time of maybe density of having the, the shroud on and I feel like that's being lifted and you're having some great insights and that's what's going to illuminate the path forward. So in your recent past here guys, we've got the King of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, so I really feel that um, you strongly sense the fact that there is a new uh, beginning kind of starting to let's say it's starting to kind of boil for you you know that ace of wands is a really passionate new beginning new start to getting your energy and enthusiasm back it's fire energy and it asks you to take that inspired action in order to get to that really um, on purpose uh, way of being or new chapter so I really feel that that is kind of like the foreshadowing of the fall to come it's saying hey you know here's the here I'm creaking the door open are you going to walk through it and grab this ace of wands it's just on the other side and the king of swords you know that's the energy of you kind of becoming aware of that and seeing that big picture it's about a card of hindsight of looking back and understanding what's led you to this moment and maybe seeing how the things that haven't worked out the disappointments the um, not having that illumination within yourself how it's kind of led you to this point where I feel like there's going to be a bit of a quantum leap so that's what that means for me and um, the king of swords is seeing that big picture seeing that with truth with vision with clarity and i really feel there's going to be a moment of transformation for some of you in that um it, it can indicate on a more sort of practical level i'm feeling a much more spiritual reading here but on a more like practical um you know fact-based level here the king of swords could be a communication a key communication that comes forward that kind of brings in this opportunity for you um, but i'm really sensing more of a internal alchemy that's going on for a lot of you at the moment and it's that internal alchemy that's going to have you sort of um you know cross that threshold and step into a new chapter i'm sorry if that sounds wafty guys but that's that's what i'm seeing and i think that some of you will, will resonate with that 
Um, current or focus energies, yeah, I mean, look at this. This is the sliding doors bookends here. Well, look at this, three major arcana and powerful ones at that. We have the Hermit, the card of Virgo, that's your card here. Uh, Virgo, we have the Fool and the Universe, which is the energy of the world. So here we have the card in the tarot, which is the biggest card of endings and completions of cycles, with the card of the, the biggest card of fresh new starts and, and, and new pathways, the Fool. And it comes after a time where there has been either a, a turning inwards, it could be a time where you've been in uh, like operating solo, and that can mean. Um, if you know you're looking at relationship uh, realm here with this reading that you've been single for quite a while maybe seeking answers doing the internal work that's coming to an end and there's going to be a fresh new start that could potentially lead you to the love that you've been desiring um, obviously this could be in work you know finishing a big cycle a cycle of study a cycle of a certain type of work and now we're walking a new path but what I'm going to come back to what I'm really feeling here in this reading is that you're actually ending a cycle of um, that internal darkness or you know that internal um, not having that not having that wisdom that you desire and all of a sudden I feel like some of you are going to start to get that illumination get those downloads everything's going to become clear the truth is going to be there you're going to see the path forward that's what I'm really feeling and it could have been a healing journey for some of you but I really feel like it's a it's a, it's a fundamental consciousness shift so that's what I, I see here. Um, you know, the hermit is one who goes within to seek the answers because this could have been a period where you sort of felt a little bit lost. And this is a period of becoming found. You know, this is lost and found here. The little star energy, which um, links to the star card, is that energy, that restoration, that rebirth that you've been seeking. You're coming out of the chrysalis this week. And this here, um, this little star, star energy, burns brighter and brighter in that lantern the more you seek, the more you evolve, the more you do the in, internal alchemy, and obviously the more brighter it, it brights, <laughs> the brighter it shines metaphorically. Mercury is in retrograde, <laughs> I really can't talk all week. Um, the brighter it shines in this lantern, then the more the path that is illuminated for you to walk out on. So. At the moment you might feel like you can only see a few steps forward but that's going to change that path is going to illuminate for you i really feel like you are coming out of that chrysalis stage um, virgo and stepping into your power and that cycle is a huge cycle that's ending for you so i really feel that like this hermit phase for some of you could have gone on for quite a while with the hermit you know it can be nine weeks nine months nine years but the universe is a card of victory. It's the last card in the tarot that says you have arrived. You've arrived at the threshold and it's time for your initiation. And that initiation is to step into your next karmic chapter of your life under the full energy. It takes trust, it takes hope, it takes faith to leap into something new, to go beyond the threshold, into uncharted territory. And as the full Virgo, you're not sure where it's all heading, you don't know what the destination is, but you feel compelled to walk that path anyway. You've got to trust your instincts and be guided forward on this. So I feel like you're standing at the threshold, standing at the crossroads, and you've got that voice in your mind that's saying, jump, you know, jump, jump. And I feel like it's probably a good idea to, to do so if you, if you feel compelled. Because in your near future outcome here, Virgo, we have the Eight of Crystals, the Knight of Crystals, and the Nine of Cups, yeah. So I feel that um, under this new start full energy, you are in the process of laying new foundations, planting new seeds. So I feel that, you know, you're going to cross that threshold and it's not going to be, oh, I've just stepped into my ultimate reality, best life, I've got everything I desire. It's going to be the energy of, I've stepped through this threshold, now I know what seeds I need to plant, and I feel inspired to get on and 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 reap and sow and um, prepare that land so that I can plant the seed and then I can get the abundance I, I really desire in the next harvest. So that's the Knight of Pentacles. It takes a very practical, methodical approach at uh, making the plans, taking the action, doing what needs to be done in order to get to whatever it is that you so desire, Virgo. And then the Eight of Crystals, which is the Eight of Pentacles, is the the worker card it's then putting in the hard yards it's then you know nurturing those seeds loving them which can mean you know making the plan and then 
taking the action to achieve whatever milestones it is that you've stepped out towards that end goal, putting the blood, sweat and tears in, doing the hard work, and then that one pentacle expands into eight, pent eight pentacles. It stands for the abundance. But I feel that whatever this path is that you're creating, whether it's in love, whether it's in business, it's by your own hand. And there's a sense of going to, you know, being proud because you have carved this path out on your own. You've taken the time, you, you were seeking the answers, you saw the big picture, you knew what you needed to do, you completed the cycle that needed to be, com be completed. You were lost and now you're found and now you know where you're headed and you're willing to put the hard work in. And Virgo, where's it all heading? We've got the beautiful Nine of Cups here. And the Nine of Cups is a card of, you know, being content, being satisfied on an emotional level, wishes fulfilled. But it comes to the person who has, has created it. It says that you can do this. You can make it happen by your own hand. And at some point in the future, because obviously the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night in the tarot, but it says that the promise is there and in time, you will be the one that's sitting on this bench here with your cups in a row going, you know what, it, it wasn't an easy journey, but it was one that I felt compelled to take. I felt the call and I leapt and now I'm really proud of what I've achieved here. My wishes are fulfilled. I do have the joy, love and harmony that I desire. But I also know that there's more cups to go out and do to get because I've got nine cups, but I desire a tenth cup. So it's an ongoing journey, guys, of, you know, walking new paths, planting the seeds, reaping the rewards, the harvests, putting the work in. But you've got this, Virgo. You've really got this. And... So what, this is what I'm seeing here. Sorry, my phone just distracted me there, guys. This is what I'm seeing here, guys. You are at the at the threshold. You're about to cross it. You're being asked to leap. It may be that you are completing a big new chapter. This is your sliding door movement, and it's leading you, leading you to that wish fulfillment that you so desire. There's passionate new beginnings on offer here for you, Virgo. I'm going to leave it there. I do hope you enjoyed the reading. Do keep in mind it's a general reading. I'm reading for a collective. It may not be your reading this time and that is fine. It might be next week. Leave me a comment if you feel called to share. I do read them all. I try and respond to them all and it helps me get to know you guys and connect your energy. And I'll see you back here next week for another reading.